Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Alien Dawn in the Jungle. I hope you're all well. Where we left off last episode is we built up our flyer protection unit. That's right, you can see that here. And Xander's just doing a bit of work in the night. And then we've got some certain things we need to do. Just looking here, there's a little red marker above them here. They all seem to be ill. Warm fever. Not quite sure what that red marker is above their, their thingy there. But that's cool anyway. I hope you're all well, guys. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is Rita is going out on the expedition when she wakes up. And I'm going to go ahead and continue getting in the tall windows. Now, we are going to go all the way around these guys. So it's going to effectively be a whole thing of windows. Just kind of do that at the moment. Yeah, Xander's coming up with blocked again. No, he's salvaging. What we need to do is salvage until we get mech cores as well. So I am going to be setting up the next scavenge as well. I think I might grab in some of these umbrella tech as well. I think that would be a good idea. We'll get the 140 there where we can. Let's make sure we are smelting those up. Might change one more of these. So metal alloys from ore. We're going to need to do some kind of melting not or oh, sorry let's get rid of that one we're going to do some kind of smelting from the scrap metal here we're going to go 200 and we're also going to do that one to the top and then this one we're also going to do the same so we're going to keep the ore one there she scavenged some scrap metal and some ale nice bit of ale for the guys and then we're going to go 200 in that one as well let's bring that up like that so it's always going to do ore when we've got it that's perfect so we'll get rid of that. And she... Silicon dep deposit as well she got on the flight. As soon as she gets back, I'll send her back in. And I'm going to go into my research bench. Which is currently doing the nanotubes. But I'm going to go ahead and see what it is to get this. So we need to produce the energy crystals here. I'm actually going to go ahead then and harvest these guys. Let's harvest all of those energy crystals that are ready. How close am I to that nest? I think we could get away. Hmm. We might need to take that out at some point. There's going to be a whole bunch of silicon there when we get it. So Rita's going off to grab that though. And I think I might plant some outside. So let's just get in. Oh, hydroponic racks. We can do that. It's going to be handy. I'm just going to slow it down a second. And I'm going to get some energy crystals in. Now this does damage the ground. But we're never actually going to be doing anything out here so i think we get an energy crystal farm over here and that's going to future proof us quite well on that one and there's the energy crystals and we scavenge six more of those lovely so we are officially able to grab the em umbrellas i probably will equip them with that because it's quite important and we'll stay kind of on this route here i think weapon wise we don't really have to worry too much Happiness is okay. Racker's not the best. I think I want to try and get these guys a little bit better. How are you cold? That wasn't right. He was saying he was cold. I see, you'll never. He's got lightning injury as well. We've had two struck by lightning. Uh, Carter, funnily enough, missed touched. Missed touched. Thunder. No idea what that is. That was weird. And everyone else is okay. Lightning injury from Melody as well. So we got. Some <laughs> quite a few lightning strikes um carter actually got okay from his but and he seems to be going up now as well it does look like they are opting for these meals of kimchi which is okay and i think i'm waiting for these just to grow so hopefully we can harvest these soon they're not too far off a few more days and then when this is completed i am gonna go ahead and get in now is the roof on almost well, actually, firstly, we're going to need some kind of flooring. So what do we want to do? I think we can go ahead and do soft carpet in here. Let's get rid of that one. And let's drag this across. Beautiful. I just want to tell you about oxygen not included as well. What a game. I bought it in the Steam sale. I know some of you have mentioned it before. Very steep learning curve. But honestly, if, you, if you've got the spare, I think it was £11 for me with uh, the DLC as well. Highly recommend. It is awesome. I'm going to try and learn it a fair bit. But yeah, very, very fun game. Right, I want to get more kimchi. So I'm feeling like I want to plant this outside somewhere as well. Like a whole bunch of this. Because that kimchi is actually a great late game meal, in my opinion. So I'm actually going to do that. Uh, I think there's an achievement for planting the sausage palm as well. But I'm going to go ahead and do a big patch of this here. And I'll probably extend this fit. There's a random block there. That's really annoying. 
and one there. Hmm. I can't be having that. I cannot cope with uh, that little rivet there. Same with that one. That's really annoying. Okay, it looks like the way it plants, though, is kind of annoying. So we're, we're, I am going to reduce that because that will bug the hell out of me. Uh, they're just chilling in the background. You can hear it. I'm kind of enjoying the music as I'm playing as well. Very, very nice. Let's go like that. We'll do all of that as this leaf. This is going to be like future proofing for the kimchi because although we have everything in here, although actually I do think this is there's three degrees. So with so I'm going to still go for a little bit longer just to see if it reduces any further. I don't think it's going to. We might need a third one. And up next, I'm going to copy two more batteries in. So we've got the electronics and then maybe one more solar panel which we don't have the electronics for yet. I just need to want to do the metal first. I don't want to do too many things. And a whole bunch of wood here. I'm going to set this one to not be harvested. Although it will level up their traits. So let's go through some of their skills here. We're looking pretty good. Um, I would like to get Rita's physical up for when she's out. Uh, physical almost eight for Vanessa. I think Carter. <laughs> Carter is incredible. I know the dementia obviously is bad, but... Uh, his stats are amazing. And it's quite a shame about Daniel, actually, because his stats are pretty rounded, too. And Raka is great, apart from the unhappiness, obviously. But there's our energy crystals coming in. And we've just been hit by some hungry pests. I'm going to see if I can get away with not attacking those as much as I hate them. Yeah, they're a massive pain. I'm going to uh, harvest that dandy... Uh, I'm not going to harvest that dandelion spore. Holy crap, we have loads. Uh, what are we doing? Grain porridge. Let's also now look at some veggie... Can we do... Oh, we've got hit by the aggressive animals at the same time. I want to do this veggie stew, so that's oil. I want to work on some happiness a little bit. So, if we go... So, four. Let's check in on these guys. So they're definitely big ones for the, uh, the amount there are. Uh, yeah, not in the slightest bit concerned, to be honest. That's fine. We'll leave those to kind of do their thing. I'll see if the hungry pests come across. And I'll, I will harvest those for the bug meat. Always pretty handy. It looks like they might be fighting. I don't know. These have gone off. And there was the uh, silicon you guys were talking about as well that I should have uh, grabbed earlier on. But that's fine. We don't need it yet. And it looks like... Going to have to rack us on the bench press. I'm going to have to bring them all in already because it's going to chew on the fence, I think. Hopefully I can walk them so they actually come this way. Yeah, there's the problem. I'm going to have to use Xander to go deal with that, I think. He's outside at the moment. Hmm. I think you can shoot these ones through the fence anyway. That's kind of annoying, though. They're a bit different how they work now. I don't know if you've noticed. They don't actually... They definitely attack in different ways, so I'm kind of going to turret things anyway. As you can see, though, they are chewing up the, uh, the fence there, which is a little bit annoying. And we're going to run Xander away. Put it down so I can actually kite them properly. Get the bleed on, and then he should be good. They run the same speed, so you got to be careful with these things, though, because they will do some damage. But that's fine. It's not chewing on the fence anymore, at least. They are missing. It's gone off to fight a dog or something that's running around. I'm going to bring Xander hopefully over here. Let's just get him up on there for now. Hopefully they come over. They should path correctly because we are in the right place. For some reason they're only getting one at a time. And the answer is no, they're not. Hmm. A bit strange. Oh, they are coming now. How weird. How weird. Oh, well, here they come. I think the hungry pests or something. We're going to have to put a proper wall around that then. Because I can't be having that happening. So I think once we get to potentially cement or brick walls. I don't think it will have to be cement I think. There's enough rock around. So Xander could have handled these on his own anyway. I kind of want them coming this way. So I can actually harvest them close to base you know. You guys should be able to get a shot off in a moment though. Which is good. Get them up a little bit spread out. Racker by this window. There we go. All layout in there uh, in the room there looks very very cool. The brick is nice though. And there we go. All stun locked there anyway. And yeah, I have no no drama about these anyway. It's very very cool. 
spawn Xander, do your thing. I'm just going to speed it up because they're kind of just stuck there at the moment. I'm going to leave the Hungry Pest to kind of do their thing anyway. But they've absolutely shredded them there, so I can start that again. There we go. Uh, risk of Meltdown for Melody. I did have them kind of there for a while, you know. Combat 4 for Xander as well, and a bit of a risk of Meltdown for Mr. Racker. And then only 20 more metal needed anyway, so we're fine. I am probably going to get a big surplus of that. Because we are scavenging pretty well on those. And I'm contemplating teaming some Shogu as well. So we need to get some of those in. Now we have some palm meat anyway. So we could tame those guys if we wanted to. And then we've got a full plant session over here. Which is nice as well. What's that? Raw smoke leaf. So we should be able to keep on top of the kimchi eventually. And there's our first veggie stew. Nice. Old equipment. Sorry about that Xander. You need to get on that a bit more. Now, we do have the cloth, don't we? So, we've got one... Did people... Uh, people have got the t-shirts on, so that's good. I think we probably need a few more pairs of summer pants here. So, it's kind of weird, because we I want to go down the synthetic route when we have it. We just don't have it just yet. I'm actually going to do five pairs of summer trousers after the t-shirt as well. And we'll kind of let them just get them when they can. A t-shirt, shoes and trousers is all they need just to be happy with their clothing anyway and that should help with this. I think they're saying they're chilly when they're going in the freezer obviously but seven degrees is not great so we are going to need another one. That is kind of frustrating so it's definitely changed or nerfed the freezer room down. I wonder if it's even possible yet. We'll find out so we'll get a third one in anyway and uh, we'll set that one up. We've got the extra batteries in now. So we will get some charge there. And if we had some more electronics, I'd get another one of these in. But the cost can't quite do that just yet. I think because of that, we're going to bin off those. I'm going to say bye to that. And any little bit of grain would be nice that we can get rid of. So you can individually click and get rid of those as well. Cool. I was wondering why I couldn't build here. Let's try it again. Let's copy one of these. There we go. We can build there now. I'm going to copy all the way along now. Let's grab a window. Make sure we're copying the right thing here. And I'm going to go all the way across. And there we have it. That will be our flyer defense room. Now the brick has okay durability. All right. So it's not horrendous. It has 100. So, oh, that's the metal window. Sorry. Can I click on the brick. 70 for the stone floor. What does the roof unit have then? Let me do it this way. 125. Not amazing. Hungry, hungry pests are still out there, but I think they're still just... Yeah, they've gone for a wander over there, so that's good. So I find them irritable. Yeah, they've gone really far. Cool. I think they're off then. Good stuff. And there's another seven electronics. Awesome. Well done, Xander. How many more you got left on that one? So two more, and then I'm going to move him to these extra debris there. I'm trying to see if there's any more. I need, I would like to find a few more. We're back right into the hot season anyway. Some veggie leather around here as well. Look how many of these things there are, though. I was just thinking, actually, we could kill a whole bunch of these with grenades. Just run down there and just lob grenades at them, and then uh, kind of use that as our food. But we're not too bothered anyway. Look how much green we have. Dandelion spores. And there we go. Rackers on those windows there. Get the last bit done here. A bit of moonshine as well. Everything looks okay. We just need a little bit more metal. I don't know whether to set these. I want to tick the bricks up as much as I can. Because I'm going to upgrade all this. And then defensive wise fortification. We probably do need to go and research. How do we get onto the next ones? There it is. Concrete. So we need to produce cement. So, let's get on to those then. So, if we bake... How do I... Let me double check. I completely forgot how I get onto that. So, concrete fortifications. Find, produce, cement. Not even sure I can do that because we don't have it. There's tea boiling there as well from those. I'm not going to grab that though. Yeah, I can't figure out for the life of me why I can't do that. Solar flare coming as well. Melody again with a risk of meltdown. we got a few pretty high up there though. And let me know on that one, guys. That's a little bit weird. I thought you could just create cement when you had the stone. It doesn't look like I can do that. Under bake, all I have is bricks, so a bit weird. 
All right, I think it's time for another expedition. So Rita's looking pretty, uh, pretty damn happy at the moment. So I think we might go to a closer one. I'm thinking, oh, do we do another explore? We could grab more ore, actually. But that, I think Vanessa would be better for that. It's nice and close. Uh, we have a engine debris there that Rita can go. It's only six hours away, so that could yield us some more electronics, maybe. Wouldn't mind getting Rita just maybe bench pressing a bit, you know? Who, who knows? But this kind of like a crafting thing there. I'm not liking how this is at the moment. So I want this to be like the main comfort area, right? So this needs to actually move. Now, the research bench does need to go here. And I'm not happy with that there either. So I'm going to move this over to the corner here. And I think I want to move all this across. So I'm going to have to wait for those two to go there. And then I'm going to move these across there. I was going to just do it, but you can't. That's a shame. Another power cell there and scissor hands she managed to find during that. That's actually a good one. If I could tame a scissor hands, I would definitely go for it. But we just need some of that research to go on. So uh, I think everything is looking okay. I'm just looking over their stats here. I think Melody. What's her favorite here then? So kimchi and playing arcade games. So we really need to get to those arcade games to kind of cheer them up. I think that would be the best thing. I can't wait for a pool table. That's what I need as well. And Carter has... Poisoning. Right, let me check in. Is there a reason why they've just been poisoned? So, let's have a look at the raw food here. Apparently you can eat the palm meat with no drama, which is good. Uh, we don't want to eat that. Oils. Damn it, you shouldn't be eating that. There we go, we found it. Right, let's paste this across. Nobody should be eating oils. There we go, and let's check in on the expedition here as well. Oh, hello. I came across a particularly interesting piece of the engine, but dismantling it to get good stuff out might take a while. So do we want CPU cores or the electronics? I'm going to go electronics. I'm not sure how many... Oh, that. Oh, man. Okay, we're doing more of those. 20 electronics. I didn't go for the CPUs because we actually have three at the moment. We have used loads, but those nine power cells. So if you break down the power cells... If you didn't know, a little tip for you guys. If you were to dismantle... Oh, it's actually electronics. Okay. Could have swore that used to be CPUs. That's changed. Yeah, ignore what I was about to say. I'm pretty sure when you used to break down power cells, it used to get CPUs, but it's now electronics. So we've got our electronics crafting, right? I think it's time. Although, yeah, we've got enough people. Let me just go in. What was the new leisure item? So statues. I don't want to grab those just yet. We want to get ourselves anything that we don't have already. So we are going to go in to our activities. And we're going to go into, I think it's assemble that's electronics. Yeah. And we're going to go. So Raka does do it as well. I think these guys are very happy doing it. Melody, we want just pure research, actually. I'm going to change her from handling so she stays focused on that research for now. And I'm going to put Rita. Why does it say Melody? Oh, that's Observe. Sorry. Uh, so Daniel and Raka. So I want Raka. Let's change this about a bit. I'm going to swap Raka from building. I know it makes him happy, but I'm going to get Daniel doing that a little bit. And I'm going to get him focusing on the assemble side of things. And I'm going to go ahead and put down a soldering bench. Now this also uses power, so we're going to need potentially another thing here. Let's put it over here for now. Eh, uh, tell you what, soldering bench can go here because the stuff... Yeah, they're going to use it here. And let me just stop this. Crafting seven for Raka. And I want to copy one more of these to here. Uh, I think we go two more. I basically, what I want to do is pretty much rely on solar power until we have power, enough power cells in uh, production to be able to completely cover ourselves. I'm going to check in about recycling some of this stuff here and a burning cruise vessel. Amazing. Right, Rita, it is time. Rita, Rita, Rita. Where's my burning cruise vessel? It's 11 hours. That's okay, though. She's pretty happy, and we should get some items from her. I think her physical is slowly going up. It's nothing amazing. This is why I didn't want to do too many. They malfunction, and it is a bit of a pain. At least it's only seven metal alloys. We've got a little bit of a surplus now as well. But I'm liking the look of the stuff here. Now, I'm going to 
probably focus on getting this one up to brick where possible. And I've just realized I haven't... Oh, that is minus 10. So let's see if this is now... There we go. So three <laughs> for one of this size. Probably a bit too big. If I cut this in half, the two would have been fine. I know it depends on it. And if it was carbon, that might help too. But minus six now, so no spoilage on food, which is going to be perfect. So we can kind of hoard food until this fills up now. And ideally, meals, you know. So I'm probably going to be a bit of a pain here. And just let the building happen when it does. I want... I think, I... yeah, he needs to focus on cooking. I'm going to put him at a one. I would never normally use a one, but I'm going to do it. Because I think it's needed right now. And the solar flare is gone, and Xander has finished the construction of these guys. I love Xander. For those that don't know, he is one of my favorites. Just because you get, you just get stuff done at night. It's great. I'll harvest some of those as well. And it looks like a lot of our uh, goods are up and ready as well. And what have we got here? More antibiotics. I just the more the merrier of those guys actually. And it does look like we got a bunch of silicon now. So our crafting, we need energy crystals. Now, I know we put down the one farm. They do take a hell of a long time to grow. So we're only on 9%. So take that as you will. What do these ones give again? Synthetics. Nice. Yeah, we should be okay. I do want to grab probably the rest of these energy crystals when I can. Uh, there are a few here, though. <laughs> um, those ones aren't ready. I want to try and harvest those. And there's the burning cruise vessel. Oh, God. Don't waste time. Look for survivors. Yep. I'm kind of glad there wasn't another one. Okay, lungs filled with smoke. Okay, tried to find my way back. Fell a few times, but finally reached a clearing. Took much needed breath of fresh air. Okay, so there's a bit of a dud there. Bit of a dud. Did she even discover anything on the way? I can't remember what it said. That's a shame. So absolutely nothing from that one. It looks like she took some oil as her meal at one point. Not good. 10% chance to get poisoning as well. Imagine just drinking raw veg oil. No thank you. Art of the absolute machine. He does look like a farmer, doesn't he? Look at him. Get him in photo mode right here. Yeah, look at him. Art is a beast, isn't he? No, I was saying that, actually. Does he get, like, double XP? I think he just gets double XP for everything. Like, he's an absolute machine. I'm quite happy with where we're at resource-wise, though. Now, I do think we are in a position to tame real shortly. So, is uh, Melody almost done on this? So, 63% on the tubes printing. I want to get some hydroponic racks as well, but there's only certain things you can grow in there. It would be nice to get hydroponics and then kind of eliminate. I'm probably going to turn off the harvest of the cloth for now. Um, they're only really good for singular square items, though. And uh, you can't do things like energy crystals. And these guys have almost got the coconuts going as well, so that's good. Melody on the bench press. I love this uh, this addition. We've got to see more, like, treadmills and stuff. Increase movement speed or something from them, you know? Right, when she gets back, then I'm going to force her to straight away get a nice veggie stew. So let's just pause it a second. Uh, reserved by Carter? Carter's greedy. Rita, I know you're doing that, but can you eat that veggie stew? Because it said you're starving. The bleeding can wait. You'll be fine. There's blood poisoning too. We need to be careful. I know it's only mild, but I don't trust it after my uh, Chaos Insane shop mode where pretty much everything I did, um, I was waiting for antibiotics and just failed because of that, basically. Absolute pain. But there we go. She should get sorted in a moment. Blood infection and blood poisoning. But we have plenty of antibiotics to cover her. Carter is on it. And for some reason, always fixes the scratches first. But she's all healed up and ready. And while we wait, I know we can't discover much else, but I am going to go ahead and send Vanessa out on an explore. It's weird that she got starving, actually, so she should have took a meal with her. They're supposed to take the food with them. And I'd like Daniel to hurry up and actually make a whole bunch of food here. Might get the second stove in, move the... I know we still have the fire on the go here. And it's tempting to move the EM umbrellas ahead of this one, because I wouldn't mind them having that as well, because the soaking wet is causing a happiness thing. Although happiness isn't horrendous, um, we're we're okay. The trousers are coming in now as well. How many more has he got to do on there? Okay, so he's done it. So he's completely done all of that stuff, so that is good. So now I think Daniel's going to get just purely on cooking now. 
which is going to be great. They do, the problem with these cooking on the chef recipes and stuff is they take ages. Uh, we do have enough in stock though, which is good. Wouldn't mind sorting Rita out here. I was annoyed by Carter. I hadn't checked in on these um, relationships actually. There's definitely going to be marriage. I'm, I'm looking at Carter and Daniel here. Obviously, Racker and Rita are cousins, so they probably shouldn't. All right, now we have 174 brick, then. I think I'm going to go ahead and start recycling some of these walls. And I think I want to start with these guys here first. So we're going to recycle that into brick. We'll probably, it's going to take a little while. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, actually. I think you've got to individually do them, but I can do a wall at a time. That's okay. All right, there we go. We got our first strip of wall there. We'll start recycling these out. And I think the brick and the stone floor will look really nice there. But guys, that's going to be where we end this one out. As always, please do smash that thumbs up for me. And if you are new around here, please do consider subbing to the channel as well. It's a massive, massive help. And uh, we're, we're flying. You know, I've got big, big goals that I want to hit by the end of this year. 10k was my original goal. I'm not sure if we'll get there, but I certainly will try. Um, but yeah, your help towards that would be massively appreciated. As always, guys, do take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.